Hi, I'm Miss Jessica, and welcome to my book nook. In today's book, we're going to use our imaginations to travel to chilly Antarctica. And then we get to meet the author of the book. The author was 10 years old when she wrote this book, and now she's 11 years old. <laughs> I can't wait for you to meet her. All right, let's read a book. Learn more about Dreamy Antarctica and how you can purchase a copy in the description below. Dreamy Antarctica, written by Maya Sarah Karthik, and the cover design was by Thamina Yasmin. Come join me for a little trip where there's so much icy fun. With giant mountains capped in ice and not a single ounce of sun. Let's live in igloos. Oh, they are so cozy and so very warm, for they will surely shelter us in blizzards or a frosty storm. We'll make some merry snowmen and have lots of snow fights every day. We'll have the most amazing fun when we go out to dance and play. Let's have an icy picnic with a blanket made of fluffy snow. Our steaming mugs of chocolate will freeze over when the wind does blow. We'll ride on prehistoric friends, like mammoths, oh so very tall. We'll go on great adventures, and we'll make a special secret call. Oh, let's dress up in ancient clothes and then put on a lovely play. Performing on an icy stage, we'll have the most amazing day. On snowy trees, we'll climb, then rest, reading to our heart's content. And when we go, the trees will say, Oh no, we are so sad they went. We'll go on iceberg escapades. We'll cruise on them while out at sea. The albatross will be our friend and lead the way so full of glee. Penguins playing winter games. It's the most amazing sight. Their friends enjoying as they sit, all cheering out of sheer delight. And oh, what fun we'd have on ice while fishing. Wouldn't you agree? We might decide to read a book while waiting for some fish at sea. And we can travel anywhere with snow dog driven winter sleighs. I've heard those dogs tell funny jokes to make you laugh in brilliant ways. <laughs> Then, after all our icy fun, we'll be fatigued and want to rest. We'll snuggle in our igloo with our family. We are so blessed. The End Dreamy Antarctica, written by Maya Sarah Karthik. Now, this book is extra special because on every single page, there is a fact about Antarctica. I'm going to read one of the facts for you. Did you know that polar bears and penguins have never met each other? This is because polar bears live in the Arctic, the North, and penguins live in and around the Antarctic, the South. Penguins and polar bears never met each other? Did you know that? It's a pretty cool fact. Let's meet the author. We just finished reading Dreamy Antarctica, and we have the author here with us today. Everyone, this is Miss Maya Sarah Karthik. Hello, everyone. Miss Maya, I really enjoyed reading your book. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. Now, can you share with us how old are you? I'm 11 years old right now. And how old were you when you wrote this book? I was 10 years old and I just completed 11 about a month ago. Oh. <laughs> Well, happy belated birthday! What was your inspiration for writing this book? So two things inspired me to write this book. First of all, I've always been fascinated by Antarctica and someday I would love to go to Antarctica. And second, with this COVID-19 situation, we've been on lockdown for, from, for pretty much from March and we've been inside this house, inside all four walls 
for a lo- long time and all trips and vacation plans were all cancelled. So I wrote this book to take my little sister Meera on an imaginary, an imaginary trip to Antarctica. In this process, I learned a lot about Antarctica because I researched a lot about it and learned a lot about it with the facts too. And it was such an amazing process. Wow. I love that you were like, I'm stuck here. So I'm just going to use my imagination and create an adventure for myself. And then you wrote a book in the process. Yes. (laughs) What would you like our listeners and your readers to learn from your book? So first and foremost, I want all kids and listeners and readers of this book to enjoy reading the book. And beside that, I want them to learn a lot about Antarctica because I've given so many facts about this beautiful continent in my book. And I'm sure that everyone who reads it can learn at least one new thing uh, by reading my book. Yes, your book is filled with facts. Thank you for that. Miss Maya has a second book out called Dreamy Outer Space, Where Sky's Not the Limit. Miss Maya, could you tell us a little bit about that book? Yes, it's about outer space and what we can do out there. And I've given lots of facts for this book too. Oh, you are just filled with facts and information. Yes. You know, you're basically like a teacher. (laughs) Well, Miss Maya, I want to thank you so much for writing this book and for being a part of my world. Thank you so much for inviting me here. This has been a great opportunity and I really loved writing the book. Mm. And for you grown-ups out there, if you would like to purchase a copy of this book or her other book, the link is in the description below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notifications, and hit that thumbs up button. This is Miss Maya Sarah Karthik, and I'm Miss Jessica, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.